Hello, and welcome to my channel. This video will be the first part of my action plan to raise awareness and educate my viewers about some of the issues that we discussed in my World Cultures class. Today I will bring up the topics of racism, stereotyping, and misconceptions of the Native American people and their culture. We listened to and read a spoken word called I'm Not the Indian You Had in Mind by Thomas King. With brilliant choices of words, King conveyed the voices of the First Nations people living today. He challenges the widely accepted image of what an Indian is. Not the one you had in mind, but the regular people living around you. The one who runs the local bar, the CEO, the movie star, the elder with her pig bingo tails, the activist alone in jail. That other Indian. King, 2007. What really made me reflect upon the issue was close to the end of the spoken word when King said, Sometimes, late at night, when all the world is warm and cold, dead, I wonder how things might have been had you followed, had we led. That passage struck me with the realization that these wonderful people have been conforming and living their lives by our standards. What's commodity? What's trash? And in return, our country's appetite consumed the earth and left them as a people looked down upon by the rest of us. In class, uh, in a class PowerPoint, we learned a quote from um, page five of The Imaginary Indian by Francis D. The quote is, The Indian began as a white man's mistake and became a white man's fantasy. Whitfield, 2015. This was t talking about the whole concept of the Indian. Um, this was talking about how the whole concept of the Indian began when Christopher Columbus arrived in North America 500 years ago and thought he had landed on the East Indies. So when he met people there, he called them Indians. That's when I realized that the moment that Europeans colonized North America, they not only stole the land, but also created a fantasy image of the Indian. The Indian is not real. They were never savages. They were never enemies. They were a kind people who got their land taken away from them and still live among us today as just regular people. But now you ask, what can we do to help them? After all, we can't just change the past, we can't change what has been done, but one thing we can do is spread awareness and tr uh, reach out to the people that we know are Native American and support them. The only way we can heal the world is to educate it and work together to fight for the cause.